Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Tori and this is At Home with Tori and today's video is going to be another budgeting video. It's going to be our paycheck to paycheck budget, our first one for the month of November. And before we get started on that, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Top Cashback. They are actually sponsoring this video today and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about them. Top Cashback is a really cool company where you can go to their website and sign up to receive cash back on all of your online purchases. It's super easy to sign up for. All you have to do is go to their website and sign up with your email and password and click join and then you are ready to start making your online purchases. It's super simple to use. You just go to topcashback.com first and then you find your retailer through their website and it will link you over to that website. And then once you're linked, you can shop as normal. And then you will notice the cash back within seven days of your purchase. Some of the awesome retailers that they work with are Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, Amazon, Macy's, eBay, and Old Navy, just to name a few. There's over 4,000 retailers on topcashback.com and they offer 100% of commission back to members. Because of this, they consistently feature higher rates than the competitors. Also a really cool thing about Top Cashback is that there's no minimum payout. Just to give you guys an example of how you can save on topcashback.com, you could purchase my wallet or something very similar, maybe not the exact color, from Amazon and you can save up to 7%. So that's about $2.80 on the purchase of this wallet. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to click on so that you can get started using Top Cashback to save money on all of your online purchases. And if you sign up using that link, you can get a $10 sign up bonus when you spend your first $25. All right, let's get into this budget. Our income that we're gonna be working with for this first pay period is going to be 1637. And that is our actual income. It may change a little bit just from my extra income that might be coming in. I'm not sure if it'll come in before the next pay period. Um, November is kind of weird for us because we get three um, pay periods for November. So it seems like we have an extra paycheck, but we really don't if you look at everything that we have to pay that comes out of each paycheck, but we'll get there when we get there. So right now we're just gonna deal with our first of the month expenses and we are going to go ahead and jump right into our fixed expenses or our bills, which we'll start with our tithe, which is 200. Our mortgage has changed, so now it is going to be 448. Went down just a little bit. Our car payment is going to be 101. Our electric is going to be $90, which might seem a little high, but we do the average billing, so it is always the same amount year round, which I actually really prefer because then we don't have a spike in the middle of the summer when it gets really hot because we live in Texas and sometimes we have days that are like 115. So our electricity would be like, I don't know, $300. But in this instance, we are averaged out at $90 a month. So I like that. Our water is $90, so that went down a little bit this month. Praise the Lord. We have Hulu, which is $6 a month. Our gasoline was actually only $60 this pay period. Credit cards are gonna be 100, and I've actually been able to put money from last pay period. I'm gonna try to film a little short video to show you guys how I did like some snowflake payments to get all of our one card paid off and then the other card that we're currently working on. I tried to put a little bit towards that as well. And then our miscellaneous is going to get 25 for this pay period. Okay, so our total is gonna be 1120 and that will give us a leftover of $517. Then we move down here to our cash envelopes. So we're gonna go with groceries. Oh, let me write down our leftover, which is 517. So I'm kind of changing. We had a little bit of a change in our household, so I'm going to be adjusting some numbers a little bit because we're not going to be bringing in quite as much income as we have been in the past. But as far as fixed income, it's gonna go down just a little bit. So we'll have to kind of play around with that for a couple months to figure out how that's gonna work out. But we are gonna take some of our variable expenses down just a bit. So for groceries, I have been doing 250, but we're actually going to change that to 200 per pay period now and I'm actually gonna try to even get that down a little bit further um, now that it's getting cooler I'm really enjoying being able to cook at home it's really hard for me in the summer because it's just so hot and whenever I cook at home it heats up our entire house so it, it just it's miserable so we tend to eat out a lot during the summer but now that it's getting cooler I really enjoy cooking at home so I'm gonna try to cook at home more and I'm gonna try to really work on keeping our 
grocery budget down and are eating out to a minimum as well. Eating out this pay period, we're gonna go down to $40. We have been doing 60, but we're gonna do 40. And we're gonna keep our date night at 40 just because that is something we don't really compromise on very much. We try to go out just to have some time to ourselves once a week. Sometimes we'll go out, sometimes we'll stay in, but we tend to do pretty good with the $40 a pay period date night, so $80 a month. We're not gonna be doing anything for household this time because I have enough in my household budget for what we need. And then our personal is going to be 15 per pay period. Pets is going to get $10. And then our miscellaneous for our cash spending is gonna get $10 as well. So that comes out to $330. We have a leftover of 187, which we'll bring over here to our sinking funds. So for cell phones, if you have not watched my Mint Mobile video yet, I'll link that right here so you guys can check that out. Um, we do $22 per pay period, so $44 a month for our cell phones. Our car maintenance is going to get $10 a pay period. House maintenance is going to get the same. Christmas is going to get the majority of this money. <laughs> Christmas is gonna get 40 because we're trying to hurry up and save as much as we can for our Christmas gifts and our Christmas buying that's coming up. Anniversary is going to get 10. Birthdays are going to get 10. Clothes slash fun is going to get 12. Subscriptions is going to get 10. Vitamins will get 10. And our car insurance, which we pay every six months, is in a sinking fund, and that will get $53 per pay period or $106 per month. Okay, so our sinking fund total is going to be 187, which leaves us with a balance of zero. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me before when I have a balance of zero right here, what do I do about savings and debt? Well, this is our first pay period, and usually our first pay period is there's not really a bunch of wiggle room for us to save anything or put anything towards debt. So that will come later on for the second pay period for the month. So again, this is just a paycheck to paycheck budget. It is not a full monthly budget. So let's go ahead and move over to our cash envelope breakdown. For our groceries, we're going to do 200. Eating out is going to get 40. Date night is gonna get 40. My personal is 15, pets is 10, and miscellaneous is 10. So our total is going to be 315 for our cash that we're going to take out. And now we're gonna see how we wanna take it out. For groceries, I kinda like to break it up. So I'll do, I think I'm just gonna do 20s this time. I wish I could get 50s and 10s, but my bank doesn't allow for it because they're not in demand. So I think I'm just gonna get all 20s this time and just get 10 of these. I think that'll just work out better. We're gonna get 120 and four fives. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same for that. For my personal, I'm gonna get three fives, um, two and one and five. So let's see if I did this correctly. So we're not gonna be getting any hundreds this time either. So it will be 12 twenties, 14 fives and five ones. So 240, 70 and five. All right, that equals 315. So now we move to the third step. So we're going to get five ones. It's just easier for me to mark these off so I don't get confused. 14 fives and then 12 twenties, which equals $315. And I will be right back as soon as I go get this cash. All right, so we are back for the cash stuffing portion of this video. And I just wanted to say real quick, I had to make a little bit of adjustments as far as the denominations go. My husband actually grabbed um, one of the $20 bills for dinner tonight because we ended up eating out and <laughs> I didn't know he got it from this money. And so I had to kind of adjust things a little bit. It's just gonna look a little bit differently, but that's why. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the grocery budget. I'm still using my Clever Fox cash envelopes and I wanna just say real quick, congratulations to both of the winners of the giveaway. I hope that you guys enjoy your envelopes and your budget book or planner, whichever one you choose. And I'm super like excited and happy with what I have been using. So I also just wanna be like 100% honest with you guys and say that like with cash right now, I am really forgetting to track my spending. So I'm, I have things on here that I haven't even tracked and I feel really embarrassed because I'm supposed to be holding myself accountable with this. I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not doing so great this last couple weeks. Anyway, um, so we'll start with groceries and I have a $4 balance in my grocery budget 
And to that we are going to add $200. So I'm just gonna do 20s. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Okay, so that gives us a total of 204 that we're gonna be putting in groceries that hopefully I will track better this pay period. Okay, next up is going to be our eating out budget. And it says we have $20, but we actually have five left after today. So to eating out, we're going to add $40. So I'm gonna do 20, let's see how we're gonna do this. 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 30, 35, 40, and 45. So I put those ones upside down. Oof, drives me crazy. Okay, so $45 is going to be our eating out budget. Next is going to be our date night, which is empty. And to that, we are gonna be adding $40. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. All fives. <laughs> All right, next is going to be our household, which we are not going to be adding anything to right now. I just bought paper towels and toilet paper and lots of like household items, so I don't need anything right now, so that's why I'm not adding anything to it this pay period. Next is gonna be my personal, which is empty as well, and I'm gonna get $15. Five, 10, and 15. Next is going to be our pets, and pets is going to get 10. I'm gonna do five and five ones. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that one is also empty because I did just buy pet food this week. And then last is gonna be our miscellaneous, which has a balance of, I think, $8 in it. Yes, $8 in our miscellaneous category, and to that we are going to add 10, so five, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now I will have $18 in our miscellaneous category. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am gonna leave a link, like I said, below for the top cashback sign up. Just wanted to remind you guys to go ahead and click on that link so you can get started. It's absolutely free to join and you can be saving money. And who doesn't wanna save money whenever you're making online purchases anyway? So make sure you click that link. Let me know if you do. Leave me some comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.